Welcome yeah. everyone to Genos with Just Commentary. So we're going to check out a video entitled The Great King Episode 10 Banana Stock Craftman. Of course, if you don't know, I actually love backyard gardening and I've been uploading videos about my backyard garden and I actually love bananas. And for the time being, we have no banana fruit in the country because of Hurricane Maria, but war banana trees are starting to grow back. So this video will be very interesting to me. Not only is it because of video in reference to the king and Thailand, but it's in reference to something I like, which is backyard garden. I'm quite sure they're going to do something very creative with the stock of the banana. Thank you so very much for requesting this video. Let's go ahead. The Great King of Time. Of course, this is going to be another long video, but I am. Um, very much liking the long video request because mainly because of the fact that I we get to learn a lot more but not just that you get to experience more of my expressions and so on and so forth so thank you so much for the video request and while this video is playing, let me just tell you what some of you might guys have been noticed is that some of my videos which is like five minutes long I've been adding uh, drone footage and this drone footage is not a random drone footage this is actually a drone footage of my community not the entire country of course you could see the land for the country but it's mainly about my village what i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna try to get all the video footage of different communities on dominica so you could see dominica on the board let's go ahead thank you of course it's starting one of the rare traditional craft making to be seen in the royal permission ceremony of yeah. His Majesty the late King Pumipun Hanide is the banana stall carving. The fresh decorations of this art of carving will be placed at the funeral pile. Banana stalks mentioned here are from general banana. How important is the banana stall carving and why is it indispensable in the royal cremation ceremony of a king? Wow. A high ranking royal in all. What are you actually the using it in the funeral ceremony? Or the cremation ceremony. What? That is banana stock? Wow. The Thai art of carving banana stalks was passed down from one generation to the next Yow! since ancient times. Banana stalks are carved with intricate designs and patterns to serve as temporary decoration or for hosting ceremony. Wow. For occasions of celebration and for times of mourning. Most people are used to seeing banana stalk carvings as decorations for beer. I, I, that's beer. amazing. So all that is banana stalk? Banana stalk helps stall the burning, preventing the flames from spreading to other parts of the crematorium. Besides the general public, nice. the palace also has its own banana stalk carvings for hosting funerals of nobles since ancient times. That is more than expected. I didn't expect that I would hear that they use it even for a ceremony as great as this. Wow. Each region of Thailand has its own unique design of banana stalk carvings that was taught throughout the generations. My gosh. Sergeant First Class Surade De Chakong is highly skilled in carving banana stalks, forming the Antong Banana Stalk Craftsman Group to preserve this heritage of art for future generations. <laughs> Yo, that's amazing. Um, I will put on the screen or at the end of the screen or I'll put in the link below where I use the banana stock to actually do planters where we plant in them but that is amazing I'm assuming they're using this after it's produced bananas because if you don't know when a banana tree sends off bananas it will not produce more again so that's a good way to use the banana tree itself high skills and concentration since no sketches are being drawn on the stalks before the actual carving commences. Wow. The craftsman must have accurate and keen memory of the patterns before carving the stalks. Mercy. That's good way to recycle. The Antong Banana Stalk Craftsman Group carves signature patterns of Thai traditional art, adding several designs to enhance diversity. 
<laughs> what? Ooh. That's not gonna stay on there for long though with the coloring. A unique design featured by the Anton Banana Store Craftsman Group is the close angle technique where various patterns of banana carving are applied to close all angles at the gaps. That is quite is remarkable. From other craftsmen in Thailand. Wow. เราจะมองออกว่านี่นี่คืออยู่ที่โน่นนะนี่คืออยู่ที่นี่นะแล้วคนอื่นก็ดูเขาบอกอันนี้ของทองอย่างเช่นปิดมุมเนี่ยปิ
ผมคุกกี้กับคุณพ่อมาตั้งแต่เด็กๆคือคุณพ่อไปไหนก็ลากผมติดจักรยานไปด้วยไปช่วยงานก็จะเห็นภาพของงานช่างโบราณได้ดีเหมือนกันเมื่อยังเป็นเด็กๆอยู่ก็ได้สัมผัสวิถีของช่างโบราณ In the past, banana stalk carving was an activity that brought community members together to create pieces of art which reflect their faith. Craftsmen fully dedicate their keen skills to display their works at funerals, which may become art contests that bring wow. joy and awe to attendants. Hmm. That is amazing. And intricate banana stalk carvings symbolize great respect for those who passed away. คือลายพิบุรีจะเน้นจะเน้นหนึ่งความอ่อนอ่อนหวานผิวไหวด้วยแต่ตัวลายมีความอวบอิ่มมีเนื้อมีเนื้อลายเพราะว่าโดยสภาพสภาสภาวะอากาศของพิบุรีคือหนึ่งลมร้อนแล้วก็ wow, really? ไม่ชื้นมากมีลมจากทะเลเข้ามาลมคือตัวแปรสําคัญที่จะทําให้หยวกเนี่ยเหี่ยวไวเพราะจะหอบความชื้นภายในหยวกไปเพราะนั้นการแทงลายของพี่ดูจะต้องมีความอวบแต่ดูอ่อนหวาน You know something I noticed there's a lot more speaking for shorter sentence with Thai Wow that is Oof and the the flows are part of the art Certain patterns of banana stalk carving for us to experience the unique elegance of Pechaburi's craftsmanship Wow เราขั้นตอนแรกนะครับก็คือหลังจากที่เราไปตัดต้นกล้วยมานะฮะเราก็นําต้นกล้วยเนี่ยมาลอกกาวเพื่อที่จะใช้เป็นวัสดุในการแทงหยวกที่เราเรียกว่ากาบกล้วยนะครับในการลอกกาบเราก็ค่อยลอกกาบทีละกาบเพื่อไม่ให้กาบนั้นแตกต้องระมัดระวังนิดหนึ่งนะครับดึงออกมาทีละกาบนะครับแล้วเราก็จัดวางกาบกล้วยเนี่ยที่จะเตรียมไว้ใช้ในการแทงหยวกในแต่ละรวดลายนะครับ Do you know that every single one that he's removing there, all the stalks, is part of the actual leaves that came out from the tree? Did you know that? He's doing that fast. That is very mesmerizing. Hey, that is amazing. And it's so precise. Wow. Is there somewhere in... I wonder if they have like schools or teaching allowing people to learn these things. He's moving as fast as like a 3D printer or something. He's moving as fast. And look at how he's moving like, like a machine. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. มาประกบในลักษณะแบบนี้นี่คือส่วนหนึ่งของการประกบ This is precise yo ครับต่อไปเป็นลายกระจัง Every day of the video reactions I learn something new about Thailand Every time I enjoying this learning something new This is just remarkable The ability to cut this pattern this unique pattern so precisely with a knife and a banana stock Good. The fan hair pattern. Fan sum. ในเรื่องของอยากลายนะจึงให้ความสำคัญกับในงานพิธีที่สำคัญสำคัญเพราะว่าความละเอียดของมันส่วนใหญ่จะใช้ no way. And what is also amazing is that they're still using the old traditional way of cutting it in, and not a machine. You know what I mean? It's good when our skills are not given to a machine and it replaces us all together. It's good that they're still using the traditional way. The banana stalk carving are predetermined for placing in specific temporary structures of the ceremony. Ah! 
is a vertical pattern used for decorating the pillars of the ceremony. <laughs> the Nagarada <laughs> male is so remarkable. is used for decorating horizontal structures, such as the shaft, the lower base, and the... We have so many banana trees in my country and, I, and no one have ever thought of doing that, I'm telling you. But this is a good way to use natural things on the environment in an innovative and creative way instead of buying this, all this plastic decoration after a fruit or it's an little environment. This is so wonderful. serves as an opportunity for craftsmen to present their skills. I'm gonna borrow this idea. I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna borrow this idea. After completing the carvings, the banana store parts must be combined. To make the artwork more vibrant, colorful and glittered paper may be applied to make the patterns even more visible. Oh my gosh. After combining all parts of the carvings together, the final step is to apply these works of art to the structure. And it's easy to just push it in and stick it in there because they are so soft and delicate. I would have never thought that was banana. Honestly, I would not have thought that was banana. You guys are also making video requests of that nature. Very creative, very innovative. Wow. For the royal cremation ceremony of His Majesty King Pumipon Adunyade, the palace selected 15 craftsmen from Pechaburi wow. and 20 craftsmen from other provinces to create banana store carvings. So that, that means there are a lot of persons ceremony. doing that. The Susuti family was once again entrusted to be one of the very few craftsmen selected to decorate the royal wow. ceremony. I wonder if they ever... Oh! If they ever did that out of Thailand, if anybody ever requests that they are come, that they invite them somewhere to do something like that for somebody else, or is this unique to Thailand? Yeah, like a father. Yeah. The great king of Thailand. Father of the Thai people. Banana stalk carving is different from other types of Thai art because pieces are decorated and used just for specific ceremonies. After the ceremony is over, the carvings wither over time. These pieces of art cannot be stored to study details in the future. Ah. The changing trends also decrease the demand for banana stalk carvings oh. since people shift to use permanent materials oh. which are more convenient to obtain. It's convenient, but in the long run, it's not so the best. I mean, this is so unique. It's convenient to go and purchase it, but talent and great minds like that cannot just wither away. With a changing time and situation, the traditional art of banana stalk carving has become no longer popular as it was in the past. Therefore, we rarely find it in the funeral and other cultural ceremonies. Fortunately, the magnificent and the delicate artwork has not died out with Good. time. This is because we have the younger generation which is ready to sustain the inheritance of local wisdom yes. as the wow. country's treasure. <laughs> yes! Good to see the young... Oh, they've got a Thai adult. Like, they've got this in... in. <laughs> that was what I was concerned about. I haven't seen any young people say that. Like, are there young people involved? The institute selected a group of students who are interested to participate in banana wow. carving workshops. This is good to see. This is extremely good to see that they have an entire young generation wheeling and there's a school which dedicates to doing this. แล้วก็ผู้ที่ได้มาอบรมนั้นก็จะ
มันก็จะไปทํางานต่อได้ถ้าเป็นอาจารย์ก็ไป yes. สอนได้โอ้ว้าวเป็นเป็นเป็นของที่ทํามาจากโบราณกันนะคะนั้นก็น้อยคนที่จะรู้จักส่วนมากจะรู้จักการแทงหยวกที่เป็นอาวมงคลคือเมนหรืออะไรขึ้นมาแต่ความจริงแล้ว can can it be used for other ceremonies can we it is it a m o s a i c only used for ceremonies such as funerals ประมาณนั้นแต่ด้วยความที่พอเรามีโอกาสได้เข้าไปแลกเปลี่ยนเรียนรู้องค์ความรู้กับชุมชนเนี่ยเราก็เลยได้ไปเห็นได้ไปเห็นว่ามันมีชุมชนบางชุมชนที่อันน้อยๆของชุมชนเนี่ยได้มีการอนุรักษ์เรื่องของตรงนี้เราก็เลยดึงเอาเรื่องนี้เข้ามาเอามาทําเอามาช่วยกระตุ้นเยาวชนว่างานศิละปะที่มันกําลังจะสูญหายมันเป็นงานศิละปะที่ทรงคุณค่า Great watch that they even have the teacher oh wow were inspired from observing nature and expressing the characteristics of natural environment through unique elegant lines these patterns can be used in architectural structures sculptures Paintings and decorations in various ceremonies. Basic knowledge in Thai patterns is therefore essential wow. for effective banana stone carving. That is extremely great. เรื่องพื้นฐานของลายนะครับซึ่งปกติการทํางานสร้างศิลปะที่แขนต้องมีความเข้าใจในเรื่องลายประดับตกแต่ง How many universities are there in Thailand? เราก็สอนพื้นฐานลายเป็นหลวง They have seem to have a lot of universities, but how many are there? Is there a number? นะครับอยู่ประมาณ7ถึง8ลายแล้วแต่ท่านแต่ละแต่ละกลุ่มท่านเนี่ยนะครับก็เริ่มต้นตั้งแต่ลายง่ายง่ายที่สุดคือเขียนง่ายนะครับฟันซามันฟันฮาหนึ่งฟันสามฟันห้าที่เป็นเหมือนลายหยักนะครับแล้วก็ไปจนถึงลายเปลวที่เป็นลักษณะของลายไฟไฟที่มีการสะบัดเปลวว้าวลายลายเถาที่มีการเลื้อยของรูปทรงเส้นสายก็ฟาสเดินได้ basic Thai patterns วิริยะ shares banana stalk carving techniques with the youth to teach practical skills wow this is the first time for this group of youths in using knives to carve into banana stalks Although the students were allowed to draw sketches on the stalks before carving, it is still a challenging endeavor for those without prior experiences. Wow, that is takes precision. No, I can well imagine. ครับได้มากแล้วยากด้วยครับครับเพราะว่าผิดผิดคือเสียเลย Wow, one mistake. ระดับปฏิบัติงานได้จริงๆก็คนที่มีประสบการณ์แล้วเท่านั้นนะครับถ้าเรายิ่งพูดถึงเรื่องงานทางหยวกมีข้อจำกัดในเรื่องเวลาอันกระชั้นในการใช้งานไม่มีโอกาสที่ต้องมาทดลองเลยทุกครั้งต้องทางการทำงานคือต้องใช้ชีวิตโดยส่วนตัวเนี่ยไม่เคยทำงานอย่างนี้มาก่อนก็พอได้มาเนี่ยคือดูดูงานครั้งแรกเนี่ยเหมือนแบบงานมันง่ายงานไม่ยากแต่ถ้าได้ลองจริงๆเนี่ยมันไม่ได้ง่ายเลยมันยากมากครับมันต้องมีการควบคุมจังหวะอะไรต่างๆ That's good you have to finish it on time The purpose of the workshop Is to carve banana stalks to decorate the pavilion that honors the late King Kumipon Adunyadek. The students have the freedom to develop fresh ideas and create new patterns besides the traditional designs. Wow, I'm glad to see that there are a lot of young people taking part in this activity. Honestly, it's good. It's a concept. Do I do it related to the Longkang, the Mahakasa, and the Wisdom? Wow, all hands on deck. <laughs> Their finalized pieces of art are very impressive. Wow. It is difficult to believe that this is their first time. Their artwork reflects their dedication no. and creativity, which take banana stalk carving to another level. Wow, that is so extraordinarily beautiful. Who Thai taught Hei Wela Kao, Hei Chai Kao. And must have been an honorable thing to do this for the king as their first time doing this. Not a thing. 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 Not a thing.
เอาอยู่มาประกอบมาประดับเด็กจะรู้สึกว่าเฮ้ยมันไม่ยากนี่คือนี่คือผลจากการเรียนที่เรียนแล้ว,วใช้งานจริงเด็กจะประสบความสำเร็จ By disseminating knowledge to new generations, banana stalk carving will continue to be a part of the Thai society. This field of art will not fade away with the passing of expert wow. craftsmen from the previous generations. That is an awesome video request, guys. You have already seen the delicate work of banana stalk carvers and their spirit behind the scene. The upcoming royal cremation ceremony for His Majesty the late King k u m i k o n a d u n d e will demonstrate the wealth of cultural heritage. I love these episodes. In the long history of Thailand, and this is the program, The Great King. The Great King, episode 10, Banana Stock Craftsman. Oh wow! Thank you so very much for requesting this awesome video, guys. Of course, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank. You. I'm at a loss for words. The fact that they can take something so natural and have this as a skill, as an art, even teaching it in universities. Something that, you know, banana stocks might be looked down upon after they pick the banana and just throw it away some people. I basically use it to make raised bed in my back in garden. Sometimes I use it as planter. But I would never imagine the idea that while I was watching this entire ceremony and different videos that you guys have been requesting about the um, cremation process that some of these things were made out of banana stocks that is amazing of course if there are more episodes that you want me to react to some that you think I'll be very interested in watching of course don't forget you could make the video request thank you for the person who made this video request like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video of course leave a comment below and I'll try my utmost best to react to it thank you very much bye guys